What makes a woman instantly unattractive? These are your responses, not mine. I want to go through them and provide some feedback and uh, see if they're fair and reasonable. Move that a tad bit over that way. First one we got from Troy says, inability to admit that they are wrong despite facts. What we are talking about here sounds a lot like accountability. Um, <clears throat> there was a scene from a movie, Jack Nicholson. Woman runs up to him as he's trying to get to the elevator. I think it's called As Good As It Gets. And she says something to him how do you write women so well? And he goes, I think of a man and then I take away reason and accountability. So um, you're not going to get a lot of apologies from the gals. Uh, they'll make mistakes. We all do. You know, we're human. Um, but this is something that I'll be honest with you. I mean, if you want to deal with women on a longer term basis, like um, more than just a few months or friends with benefit types of type of arrangement, you're not going to get them to admit, or let me just correct myself, you're not going to get very many of them, if I can put it that way, to admit that they're wrong despite facts. Let me just expand here and see what some of the replies are. Uh, this guy over here said, all of them do that, not all, just the ones we need to avoid, bingo, all of them say the wrong thing, I'm sorry, it's impossible for them. You just described 98% of all women. So guys' experiences are very similar to what we're talking about here. You're really not going to get a whole bunch of gals out there that are going to make admissions of wrongdoing, guilt. Uh, I don't know. You, you get what I'm saying. It, it's just not a, a popular or common trait with women. Just like agreeableness with men is not a popular or common trait with dudes. Men are generally not as agreeable as women. Women are more agreeable than men. Men are less agreeable than women. I mean, high testosterone, masculine men are less agreeable. You get a lot of soft, weak guys today, you know, the sort of soy boy crowd. Uh, that are basically uh, terrible versions of men and, and act like women. But uh, don't go holding your breath on that one would be my advice. I think the inability to admit wrongdoings is something that's more congruent and consistent with men. You aren't going to get it that much with women. Expect it from your friends. Expect it from your inner circle, from your boys, from your tribe, from your gang, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a good sign of a good man that's also good at being a man. But don't expect that trait in a lot of women. If it shows up, great. Hopefully it shows up in an attractive woman, but there you go. Next one is male friends. So the cool thing about these tabs over here is you can sort by newest or top. And top are usually the most upvoted ones, the liked. So the most liked by you guys as viewers and followers of my stuff will end up towards the uh, top of the page here. So the next one we got is male friends. And I mean, that's in my red flag list. So if you're on my uh, email list and you've got that, or you've read my book, uh, I talk about women that keep men from their past around. That's red flag number five. Um, you know what? Let's just go to red flag number five and I'll just read it because I, I don't remember the exact language that I used exactly. Straight out of the book. Straight out of the book, Rich. Read it to me. All right, kids, it's story time. All right, she keeps men from her past around. So just straight out of the book. Women like to have options. A recent survey showed that almost half of all married women admitted to having a backup plan, also known as another guy. If you're getting into a, and by the way, guys, you, <laughs> no, it doesn't. I've never seen such a study. It's been duplicated many, many times. Um, and that doesn't account for the women that participating in this study would look bad or promiscuous or uncommitted in a in a committed type of marriage or relationship for having a backup plan. Most women have a backup plan. If you're getting into a long-term relationship and she wants you to abandon your sexual strategy of unlimited access to unlimited women, variety, men like variety, of course, then she needs to burn the ship on the shores of her new life with you and cut all emotional ties with other men. Now, some women end up as an alpha widow. An alpha widow is a woman who pines for that high value alpha that didn't commit to her in her earlier years. Oh, this is the first edition. The second edition has some slight verbiage changes, but uh, make sure if you get the book, that's the one you get. Uh, she may not be in contact with him anymore. However, if she still sees him as the one that got away and she keeps a place for him in her head and therefore in her heart, she will never see you as her best option. It's imperative that she has genuine burning desire for you. I cover that in one of the chapters of the book. You don't want to be good enough. You want to ensure that you are getting her absolute best. Trust me when I say that no good ever comes from her having lunch with ex-boyfriends or other male friends 
You certainly do not want to be the guy that she settled for. If you're a man that is chasing excellence in his life, then you do not need distractions like your woman seeking attention from or still pining for other men. Men and women have little in the way of common interests other than men wanting to have sex with women and women wanting to extract attention and resources from men. There should be no room for male friends in her life if you are in a long-term relationship. Women like this should be a plate, meaning you're dating non-monogamously in a simultaneous fashion, at least until they prove that they are over their past. And I've said this elsewhere. I didn't mention it in that section of the red flags, but it's mentioned elsewhere in the book. Nobody bangs more girlfriends and wives than he's just a male friend. I'm not attracted to him. He's just a coworker. Take it whatever way you want. A woman that keeps dudes around from her past, whether she was intimate with him, ex-fiance, ex-boyfriend, ex-friends with benefit, hookup, whatever it happens to be, or she wasn't, it doesn't matter. I trust the locks in my Porsche. I keep it locked in my garage. I know it's safe there. I don't leave it in a crappy neighborhood unlocked with the keys on the seat. Something bad's going to happen if you put things, women, stuff that you care about in precarious situations. Oh, I'm just going to go away with my guy friend to the weekend to his lake house or his cottage with a few other people. I'll see you when I get back. No. If a chick's dealing with male friends when you're dating her, very, very simple. She's coming to you. She goes, Rich, you dig your vibe. Where's this going? Where do we stand? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, I like you too, but I don't take women seriously that keep guys from their past around or keep male friends around. If you want to have some fun with it one day, and I'll move on in a second. If you want to have some fun with it one day when she brings this up or she tries to challenge you on it, say, fine, give me your phone. I'm going to text Bill or whatever his name is. I'm going to text Bill right now. I'm horny. Let's bang. And let's see what he says. I guarantee the vast majority of the guys especially the beta orbiters that are hanging around waiting for an opportunity to be like, yeah, let's smash. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.